How do you feel? Um, yeah, I just got to Korea. Um, I feel pretty good. I had a long flight. Um, I usually do most of my training, or pretty much all my training, at um, Australian Top Team. Uh, but I went over and trained a little bit in London for this fight um, at Aspire Combat with Dean, um, who actually just fought on the ACB card. Um, so I feel pretty good. Just a longer flight, about 13, 14 hours, I think. What's your experience so far, you know, being in Seoul? About not getting the food. I'm not going to give me the food. No, it was, it, it's been cool here, you know. Um, the people are real nice. A little bit, um, obviously, different than Australia um, or England, but it's been it's been good. Uh, the tour guide here that's been helping us is, is real cool, and everything's pretty good, except I, I couldn't get my eggs last night, so that kind of sucks. What about the, you know, like the subway system? Everybody talks about, you know, how transportation is so great here. How do you feel about it? The subways are cool. Like, we had to take the subway for training the last couple of days. Um, and they come, like, every three to five minutes, which is nice instead of waiting, like, 30 minutes to an hour. So, it was cool. All right. Um, last year, you had a pretty good year. You know, you had uh, three wins, two submissions, you know. So this year's your uh, this this fight coming up at Battlefield is your first fight of 2017. So like, what have you been doing, you know, since you last fought? Um, yeah, last year I had a I had a good year, like you said. Um, uh, I trained full time with Australian Top Team, um, and they helped me out as far as my mental. Cause sometimes I lapse, or something will happen, and I can't get my head in it, or I don't know, just whatever the case may be. But the boys there really took me in and and helped me get my mind straight. Um, my personal life is a lot better as well. Um, so that has a lot to do with me also winning my last three fights. And I just feel good overall. You know, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I like to be honest, I, I drop the ball sometimes, you know, because I, I have outside stuff going on. But everything right now is pretty good. And like I said, my personal and my training feels just right. So. So right now you just like hundred percent. Yeah, right now you know I like to be honest. No one's ever hundred percent going into fights. You know what I mean. But I I feel good. You know I I have a good team behind me. I have a a good family and good support system from sponsors to family to all around everything in my personal life. So I just feel real good right now. Okay, um, your opponent that you're gonna fight. You know it's a catchweight fight, right? Uh, Jung Hyun An, right? This guy, he has been, you know, fighting in Korea for a little while. You know, he's a guy that comes in and he's coming at you, like, the whole fight. Yeah. Yeah, every, I've seen all his fights. You've probably seen some of his I've fights also. Yeah. yeah. So, you know the guy. How do you handle a guy like that? How do you go into a fight you knowing that guy's going to take punishment? Um, yeah, so this fight is, like you said, um, I can't say his name. How do you say it? Yeah. Uh, An Jung Hwan. Jung Young Wan. Yeah. I'll just say Chung Young. Yeah, Chung Young. <laughs> His first name is Chung Young. Chung Young. Yeah. Um yeah, the guy the guy that I'm fighting is is tough, you know, I heard he's he's real durable, doesn't mind getting hit, doesn't mind having shots thrown, um he likes to stand up. Not really a ground guy from what I've seen. Um he likes to stand up and come right at you and doesn't mind eating it. Um I guess when they offered me to fight, I, I took the fight, you know. Uh I think it's a good fight for the crowd. Um, and for me, I think it'll be an exciting fight either way. And like I told her, I'm not worried. If he wants to go to the ground, we go to the ground. If he wants to stand, we'll stand. I'm pretty comfortable wherever the fight goes. I train hard and I, I train with a bunch of killers, so I'm not really too worried about the fight. You know, you say he comes forward and this and that. And everybody who steps in the cage wants to fight, so I'm not really too worried about his style. I just try to do mine. All right. Any plans after the fight? You know? Um, after the fight, mm, yeah, me and my boy, <laughs> we're gonna go probably get tattoos maybe, um, and just kind of see Korea a little bit, um, we're gonna stay like maybe like a day or two afterwards, just I see Korea, hang out, um, try some new foods and all that stuff. Alright. Um, also just want to thank everyone that supports me, 
um, and helped me with my dreams from sponsors to families, um, just pretty much everyone. And I um, also want to thank Hex Fight Series. Um, they've been a big help, you know. They've given me consistent fights, um, and they also let me come over here and fight in Korea. Um, so, yes, pretty much want to thank everyone that supports me. Big shout-out to Hex. Um, thank you to Battlefield for having me on. Thank you.